Hi, today I will talk about AI and creativity, especially about using NVIDIA's NGC for AI music. So happy to be here today. Little introduction. Hi, I'm Tristan. I'm an AI expert, so I do a lot of deep learning from in my professional life. I have a diploma in computer science and a PhD in artificial intelligence, and I work as a hands-on advisor and strategy consultant. And sometimes you hear me that I sometimes feel like a musician trapped inside the body of a computer scientist. So if I find a time, and usually I make sure that I find some time, I also use artificial intelligence to compose music. If you like, you can find me on the internet. I'm on LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube. Just connect. Feel free to reach out. Feel free to say hello. Happy to be in touch. Well, a little secret, my creative process. Um, I composed this year four albums using deep neural networks, and this is the pattern how I actually do it. So the first step I do is that I compose some or generate some musical ideas with GPT Metal. G GPT Metal is my own deep neural network. It's a transformer, GPT-2, trained on 7000 heavy metal songs. So it can generate tiny little pieces of heavy metal. And then I curate those ideas. So I, I get quite a lot of ideas with the click of a button. And then I take those ideas. Um, I, I, I select a couple of them that are very, very interesting. Well, to be honest, most of them are very, very interesting. And then I apply slight modifications and work on a note level. And then I take those ideas and arrange them into full songs, like we have a bridge, a chorus, um, a verse, an intro and an outro. Because, well, today this is something that, that the AI is not so, so perfect in doing. So long-term relationship between nodes is something where I, as a human, am way better than those neural networks. And then also important step that I take different tracks that I have and I assign the right instrument to the, to the different tracks, which means that I have like a whole array of different, um, of different um, digital instruments and then I think well this piece of music better be represented with that instrument and then I do the click and then it just sounds fine and then also like adding a couple of breaks decorations here maybe some some um, some pieces of, of drums that make the whole music a little bit more interesting well, then of course mixing mastering and publishing on for example Spotify and YouTube and Bandcamp well the question is what is missing there's something very very important missing i don't have any vocals at all and why i don't have vocals is that i did not really manage yet to find a right neural network that would generate vocals for me and don't get me wrong i'm generating lyrics this very easy there are lots of language models the big language models which are perfectly capable of doing quite a lot of things including generating lyrics so this is a no-brainer no problem at all and um, i also did a couple of experiments in that direction where i had a piece of text generated by deep neural network and then i just recorded it for one of my songs and then i found out that it works but it does not really match because it's not not consistent so i'm a little bit obsessive here and i decided that i'm going to have vocals in my music in my band project um, hexagon machine as soon as those vocals can be computer generated with deep neural networks well nvidia to the rescue Fortunately, and I'm very happy that um, we could do a little cooperation here. Fortunately, NVIDIA provides quite a lot of tools that I can use and I actually ex successfully used in order to compose something that includes vocals. One thing that you need to know is there is a new network called Flowtron, which is by NVIDIA. It generates MEL spectrograms. So if you wonder what a MEL spectrogram is, a MEL spectrogram is this picture that you see here. So it's a visual representation of any sound. It can be music, can be some noise that you have in your apartment, can even be um, vocals. And this is a vocal representation. It's a visual representation of a sentence. The art of the 21st century will be the art of the machines. The text itself generated by a transformer and the Floton model generated this MEL spectrogram. Well, see. well, you see that you can see something and in order to make it audible, in order to actually hear what the neural network is saying, we still have to do one tiny little step and this is using WaveGlow. WaveGlow is, I would always almost say, a sibling of Floton. It uses or it takes 
such and similar mass spectrograms and maps them to wave files. So actually to representation that you can hear. And if you have wave files, you can immediately drag them into your audio workstation and well, integrate those vocals into sounds. NGC. NGC really, really made a difference for me. So let me tell you what it is. The NGC um, catalog is um, is a platform where you can get quite a lot of things that will make your life easier. And with your life, I mean the life of all people that are using deep learning. Is it if, if it's training neural networks from scratch, if it's fine tuning, if it's um, deploying data science tools, everything is available in NGC. So let me give you a quick summary. There are collections, which are packages of use case based curated content. So for every use case that comes to mind, maybe it's image processing, maybe it's object detection, maybe it's speech generation, there's a collection for you. And there are containers, I think about Docker containers that are like, like perfectly set up that you can immediately or easily drag from the shelf and integrate in your system. And then you have um, tools re ready for you to work with. Helm charts is well, automated deployment to Kubernetes clusters. So it's a little bit bigger exercise. And what is extremely interesting for me, models. So a lot of neural networks are there in a models catalog, pre-trained, which means that you can directly use them. Or if you so choose, you can even do transfer learning by fine tuning those. And there are resources which are step by step instructions for a lot of use cases. So everything that you need to get started and perfect little thing at the end. Also, it's in AWS marketplace. So it tells you that if you have a little proficiency with AWS, it would be no problem at all to take resources, for example, from NGC and run them. And well, this is what I did for my music project. So generating speech with NGC. Well, this is a little, little technical. So I'll tell you in a nutshell how this works. And I'm actually thinking about making another video where I show you how to do that. So generating speech with NGC in a small, in a few small steps. Well, first thing that you have to do is to go to AWS and go to the EC2 services and then spin up a virtual machine with the NVIDIA Deep Learning AMI. So this is an image which is made for deep learning. And this is the host of everything that you would like to use of the um, NGC catalog. So you just select it. Then you also select an instance type, which tells you which kind of GPU you're going to use. And then takes a couple of minutes. And then suddenly somewhere on the internet, you have a server which runs um, NVIDIA deep learning AMI on top of a GPU instance. And then, well, now comes the tricky part. You log in to the instance with SSH. Then you download the Floatron resource. So this is a package that is, um, is, is already prepared for you to use Floatron. So download a zip file, you unpack it. And then you also fetch off the internet um, of NGC, Floatron and Waveglow the checkpoints. They're already pre-trained neural networks. So they are in the model catalog of NGC. You just download them um, with a um, couple of things that you type in the common prompt. And the next thing would be, now you have the Floatron resource. You also have the pre-trained neural network. You would build a Docker container. It takes another minutes, another couple of minutes. This is something where actually you have to wait a little, but it's not, it's, it's just normal. So everyone who ever built a Docker container knows that sometimes it takes a little time and then you run it. And once you run it, you can inside the Docker container run Floatron in inference mode. So you give it a text, um, maybe a couple of further parameters and then Hit enter and it will generate a wave file for you. And then you just download the wave files. So in, in the essence, um, this is those are seven tiny little steps. Most time here is spent on um, on spinning up the instance, which means that it takes some time on um, on Amazon to actually start a virtual machine and also waiting a little for the, the Docker container to build, but this is perfectly normal, happens all the time. And the, the main story is that the actual part of setting everything up um, and predicting and generating vocals with that is, is not a problem. It's just a couple of handful of steps you have to do and then you have your speech generated on the internet. Perfect. So 
And then the result, um, there's a single now available on all streaming platforms called Hexagon Machine featuring Floatron. It's the single Hexagon. Um, I, I, I found uh, a pre-trained language model called GPT J6B on the internet. I used it to generate a couple of vocals and then I ran those vocals through Floatron and Waveglow using um, on AWS using NGC. So I create a couple of WAV files and then I took those WAV files and dragged and dropped them into the song. I applied a couple of effects to it. I did the mixing and the mastering and then, well, I released it. So fairly easy. Um, Floatron really did difference to me, especially using Floatron and NGC, which just perfect thing to set it up. Um, fairly easy, especially the integration with AWS. So it was a real pleasure to do that. Thank you.